lift your voice to your maker, your father in heaven, and just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We let your and worship oh glorious God we praise your name we lay your cross and worship you oh be lifted Above all other gods, together we lay your crown and worship. Oh, be lifted up above all other gods. Above we lay your crown and we worship you. says I will lift up my eyes onto the hills for where comes my help my help coming from the Lord who make heaven and the earth I want you to look to your neighbor and tell him the Lord will send help to you today come on look to another person tell him the Lord will send help to you today and together as a nation the Lord will send help to us hallelujah all right, let's fix it now. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Our help comes from you. Almighty God. Oh, Lord. You are worthy, oh, God. We will praise you. Lord, you are my God. I will ever praise you. Oh Lord, you are my God. I will always praise you. Daddy, I will seek you in the morning. I will learn to walk in your ways. Step by step, you lead me. Yeah, yeah. I will follow you all of my day. One more time. Oh Lord, you are my God. I will ever praise you. Don't go do more, yeah. Oh Lord, you are my God. I will always praise you, Daddy. I will seek you in the morning. I will learn to walk in your ways, Daddy. Step by step, you lead me. Are you ready, John? Follow you all the way, oh Lord. Oh, oh. 
of the Lord that you are alive today is not by your power we are in November the 11th month thank God that you are alive thank God that you can you're standing thank God thank God that you are alive today let's worship him he's worthy of our praises he's worthy of our thanks he's worthy to be praised there is none like him Lord we appreciate you who is like you oh Lord we exalt your holy name let's praise him I don't know if you, are, you don't probably you, are, you, you, you can't think of what God has done for you just think deeply and you know that God has done a lot that you are standing today is not by your power, it's not by your mind. Some people would like to, to be here today, but I'm sure they can't make it. But you are here, and God has made you to be alive. You are your feet. Please praise the Lord, worship Him, exalt His holy name. He's worthy of our praise, He's worthy of our thanks. Oh, worship Him, Lord, we appreciate You. You are mighty to save, Lord. You are mighty to deliver. We say, Iba, oh Lord, to You. We worship You, we adore You, oh Lord. Blessed be unto Your holy name. Father Lord, we bless you. Father Lord, we appreciate you. Praise the name of the Lord. Worship him. Worship him. For he is good to us. His mercy endures forever. Thank him. He has not punished us according to our iniquities. Oh, we worship you, oh Lord. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you praises. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. So uh, we'll be praying. Our anchor scripture, Psalm 46, verse 1 to 5. But verse 1 says, God says, God is our present help in, in trouble. The, the latter part. So I would like us to pray that, Father, 
Father, I have no help elsewhere. Have mercy upon me and help me. People that really need God's help, tell God, Lord, I need your help. Help me. You are the present help in time of trouble. Oh, Lord, I have no help. Oh, Lord. Except you have help. That's why you open your mouth. Maybe you have a family that wants to help you. Or you have someone you believe in that will surely help you. But if you know it's God that will help you. And his help is always greater than every help. Open your mouth and tell God, Lord, I have no help elsewhere. Lord, help me. You are the help of the helpless. Lord, please come through for me. Help me, oh, Lord. Father, Lord, help me, oh, Lord. I have no help elsewhere. Lord, help me. Father, Lord, come through for me. I Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, Jehovah. Nisi. Help me. Help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me. In the mighty name of come to for me and help me. Take absolute control. I don't know what you want God to help you on. Tell him, Lord, help me in this area, Lord. I need your help. Help me, Lord. Help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 24 verse 9 says, Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. I don't know which door you want to be open, we want to be open this period, this 11th month. I need you to tell God that, Father God, this 11th month of the year, Lord, every door that has been shut against me, let it be open. Every door that has been shut against me is the just in time, God. He will do it this period for us. Pray every door that has been shut against me, oh Lord, every door, let it be open. Doors of promotion, doors of testimonies, every door that has been shut against me, Lord, let it be open. Let it be open towards me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, heavy doors have been shut against me. Let it be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. We are not really praying. So, um, Psalm 102 verse 13, because of our time, says, You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor our yet time has come. So I would like us, because of, people, because of some of our neighbors that are still sitting, you just hold your neighbor and pray for your neighbor. And say, Lord, Father, Lord, arise for, and favor this, my neighbor. Let all his or her prayers be answered. Let them end this year in joy. Lord, let them end this year in joy. Hold your neighbor and tell them, let this, my neighbor, end this year in joy. Open your mouth and pray for your neighbor. And pray. Tell, except you don't like that neighbor, that is when you open your mouth. Open your mouth and say, God, help me. let this person end this year in joy, oh Lord. Father, Lord, let this, my neighbor, end this year in joy. Oh Lord, all the hard, all the hard desires let's be met. Lord, let them end this year in joy, Lord. Let this year, let them, let them end this year in rejoicing. Let them year end this year thanking you. Let them end this year rejoicing, oh Lord. All the hard desires let them let's be met. Every hard desires of theirs let's be met. Every door that's been shut against them let's be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open every shut doors. Everywhere they've thought that they need help, the one they do just raise help for them, even where they never they least expected. Pray to God, pray to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. As Pastor is always telling us that there is something there's evil remaining in every year, and there's also good. So we just pray the, the, the two parts the Lord, Father, Lord, every evil remaining in this year, take it away from me and my household, for me and my family. Take every evil. I don't want to hear death. I don't want to hear any accident. I don't want to hear any, any, any uh, sickness. Take it away from my household. And let the good part, let it begin to happen to me. Let something great begin to happen to me. Let something good happen to me and my household. Let's pray. Let's pray. Take every evil away from my household, from my children, from my wife. Take every evil away from us, oh Lord. Let us be good news. Let it be good news all through this year. From one good news to another. From one good news to another. Let it be our portion. Let it be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Take every evil away from our dwellings, from our loved ones, from our church, from this nation. Take every evil away. Let's pray for our nation. The Lord, take every evil away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take every evil away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Please, let's pray for our country. He says, every door that has been shot against our country will be open in Jesus' name. In Psalm 24, that verse that I, I read earlier, it says, lift up your heads. We say, God, every door that has been shut against Nigeria, let it be open. And the doors we don't want, let it be closed. Doors of corruption, let it be closed. Those great doors, prosperity, victory, let it be open again. Let it be open on us, oh Lord. Upon this nation, let every great doors be open on, upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And shut every evil doors. Bad leadership, shut them, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shut every evil doors, oh Lord. Against this nation, O oh Lord. 
Let us rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. You are mighty to save. You are mighty to deliver. Father, Lord, you give us these themes, saying just in time, oh Lord. Let it be just in time for all of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every breakthrough we've been waiting upon, oh Lord, or we've been waiting for, oh Lord, I don't know which breakthrough it is, Lord, let all of them come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our joy be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we go into the service, let all our blessings, oh Lord, that we've been waiting for, the one we've released, expect, let them all come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, take us to the next level. Let, us, let people that have looked down on us, let them rejoice with us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As this theme says, just in time, Lord, let it be the right time for our breakthrough, for our victory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, every door has been shut against us. Let's be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We enter into our victory. We enter into our success. We enter into our promotions. We enter into testimonies galore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As this ends, we dance into the next year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No evil will come into our dwellings. No evil will come into our families, our places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And at the end of everything, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. It's church unusual. The youths are taking over. Make joyful noise unto the Lord. We need to be grateful. This is the 11th month. Nigeria has been through a lot. We too, we've been through a lot. And we are not loud in it for Jesus. What's going on? Praise the Lord, somebody! If your neighbor is not talking or not shouting hallelujah, say neighbor, shift. Neighbor, shift. We are not having any last Sunday in November and this year again. This is the only chance. If you can't loud it for Jesus, who do you want to loud it for? As usual, let's take it row by row. This side, praise the Lord, somebody. If Saul is here without saying anything, I'm sure the volume will be higher than that. This side, praise the Lord, somebody. Three ministers are backing you guys up. Praise the Lord, somebody. There is Jara, I can see that. My people, my people. My people, my people. Don't fall my hands, oh. Praise the Lord, somebody. Your neighbor, God is good. Is God really good to you? Are you sure? Hundred percent sure. I five. Tell your neighbor, God is good to me. Is God good to you? I need a back up. God is good to me. God is good to me. It's good to me. Is it good to you? It's good to me. God is good to me. It's good to me. Are you feeling me? It's good to me. God is good to me. It's good to me. God is good to me. It's good to me. Is it good to you? It's good to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's church unusual. No borders. No rules. Nothing to protect us from being casual. We just have to be who you are. So we are grateful to God that we are here. This is the second service and expect something unusual. Open your hearts, open your minds and smile because God is good. The Edge and the team 412 are taking over. Have you seen the flyer? Multimedia. We are taking over. Not be by mouth, so we are really taking over. Welcome to the second service. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's please be seated. Don't worry, I'm not here to take worship. <laughs> 
Good morning, church. My name is Blessing Ekayeme. Do you know the person sitting next to you? Are you sure? Okay, just introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is... Tell the person what you do. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I want to ask us one question this morning. Is there anyone here that's paying for oxygen? If you're paying for oxygen, can you raise a hand? Okay. You stepped out of your house this week and you got back home safely. Raise up your hand. You, you went out this week and you got back home safely. Raise your hand. So last month, my mom was ill and we had to take her to the hospital. And we found out that an hour for oxygen is, is tanky. So myself and my siblings we started doing mathematics. So, so we've been breathing free air 10,000 times 24 hours per day. So if you know you have breath in your lungs and you know you are not paying for that breath in your lungs, rise on your feet. So we're going to sing a song this morning. It's very, I'm sure the old church knows this song. If you don't know this song, you're not a youth. <laughs> and there's no one above 70 here. It's very simple. So you sing it to five people. Jesus, yeah. you have done it again. Jesus, yeah. you put your hand on your head. In your special way. Five people. What was impossible? Baba, you made possible. Jesus, yeah. Are you still on your seats? Move around. Say, Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus, yeah. In your special way. What they said was impossible. Baba. Jesus, yeah. And say, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, yeah. You have done it again. Done it Jesus, again. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. In your special way. In your special oh. what was impossible. Say, Baba. Come on at the top of your voice. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Energy, 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 energy. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Pastor Mommy has released something of this. Let's listen to the announcement. Good morning, New Springs. I am Sharon Akimbayo. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. It's Church Unusual Sunday. Hi, I'm Abiodun Folari. Welcome to church. Are you ready to dance and praise like never before? Don't miss the Jesus party after the service. Our theme this month has been transformational. We have received renewed hope and our faith has been strengthened. Again, we are firm that nothing is impossible for God and He will come through just in time. So, if you have missed any of the messages shared, simply subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook today and be blessed. Welcome, Welcome home. home! If this is your first time worshiping with us online or in person, thank you for choosing New Springs. We love you and we can't wait for you to call New Springs home. Next week is our Thanksgiving service and it's the last one for the year 2023. Give God the highest praise. Our theme for December is for God so loved that he gave. So come ready to thank God for his faithfulness for 12 amazing months of his goodness and abundant blessings. Tell somebody you have every reason to be thankful. Celebrate in grand style dressed in your native attire, ready to give God all the praises due. Holy Ghost Congress is less than 8 days to go. 
Don't miss this life-changing encounter with God. The theme is divine repositioning and the dates are 4th to 10th of December 2023 at Redemption Camp. Start making your plans and prepare to be there. Christmas lunch on Jesus is almost here. It's the season to make someone's Christmas jolly. With 12,000 Naira, you can sponsor a Christmas package which gives a family one 5 kg rice, a pack of chicken and condiments. And as God blesses you, you can bless many more. For sponsorship details, please reach out to Pastor Maria Tyree. We look forward to your kind support. God bless and increase you as you give. Jumbo Sales is on. And we implore you to be a blessing by bringing in all your fairly or close to new clothing items, shoes, household equipment, and many more to be a blessing to our community and those in need. God bless you as you give. Prayer cells offer you multiple prayer partners and a chance to improve your prayer life as we intercede for one another. To join one, please scan the banner behind the aisle. If you don't belong to a Connect Center, join one today and enjoy all the benefits it offers. Please see Pastor B.C. Adenuga after the service to join one or find one close to you. These are the highlights for the week. Thank you for listening to the announcements. God bless you and have a blessed week in Jesus' name. Miracle, no, they tired Jesus so. If you want to experience God's miracle in mind-blowing ways, just key into everything happening in church. We have the Christmas lunch on Jesus. We have Saturday church. And you know, like um, Pastor would say, if you don't have cash, you can give of your service. You can come and um, be a blessing to someone. And I pray that as we key into everything happening in church, God will come through for all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Enjoy the rest of the service. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. It's blessing time. It's blessing time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's time to give our God off an offering. But before we do that, um, I just want to, you know, say, share one or two with us. This month, we've been studying the just in time God. Praise the living Jesus. So um, I'll be reading from the book of First Kings, chapter 17. Then um, I will start from I will start reading from verse ten. Praise the Lord. So Elijah got up and went to Sarephath. When he arrived uh, arrived at the city gate, there was a widow woman gathering wood. Elijah called to her and said, "Please bring me a little cup, a little water in a cup, and let me drink." And as she went to get it. He called to her and said, Please bring me a piece of bread in your hand. Brethren, we have come this morning to give an offering unto the Lord. But God is also calling us to do more. Praise the Lord. He's asking us to give just more than an offering. He's asking us to add something to it. He's asking us to give uh, into the Saturday church is asking us to, you know, pledge unto the Lord for um, Christmas lunch on Jesus. You know, the Lord is just asking us to do more, more than what we have been doing before, because the prophet said, just had a little piece of bread to it. Um, but the woman complained and said, um, as the Lord your God lives, I don't have anything big only a handful of flour in a jar and a bit of oil in the jug. Just now, 
I'm gathering a couple of sticks in order to go prepare it for myself and my son so that we can eat and die. Brethren, you might also be thinking in your heart that, come on, it's almost December. You know, I don't really have a lot. The little I have, you know, it's just for me to, just for me and my people to, you know, make the December dirty, to have a dirty December, but God is asking you to... <laughs> No worries, church unusual. Amen. <laughs> so you, you know, you might be thinking that, you know, what's this man saying? I just have a little to, you know, for me and my household. But um, the word of the Lord says, Then Elijah said to her, don't be afraid. Go and do as you have said. But first, make me a small loaf from it and bring it out to me. Afterwards, you may, you may make some for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord God of Israel says. The flour jar will not become empty. And the oil jug will not run dry until the day that the Lord God will bring rain to the surface of the land. Brethren, how come that it was at a point where the woman had just one meal. That was when the prophet came. How come is that point where you just have something safe for December? That is when sound right is coming. But <laughs> I want to assure you that the just-in-time God, you know, had something planned for you. And that is why he has come today to do that. So I want us to package that thing. If you don't have it here, you know, you can make a pledge. You can um, do it later. Let's package our offering. The um, account details will be on the screen. So um, I pray as we do that, the Lord will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Our righteous Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give today. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you adoration. Lord, please, as we are giving unto you today, not uh, a transactional giving, but we are giving based on our love to you. Lord, please accept us in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we pray that you come through for us just at that moment when we need you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Glory and honor be to your name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Jesus, Jesus. 
Sobe Tchau Of my Continue to praise the Lord. Let's shout hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is to be praised. For he alone is to be magnified. Let's lift up our voices and worship the God that has kept us from the beginning of the year up till the 26th of November. Let's begin to thank the God, the saver of our souls, the master and the king. Let's thank him. Let's pour out our hearts of gratitude to God. Let's bless his name for who he is. Let's bless his name for what he is. Let's bless our creator. Let's worship him. Let's magnify his name. He alone is God. Only he could have done this for us. Only he could have been here for us. Only he could have kept us thus far. Only he would even take us to the end. Let's give him thanks. Let's bless his name. Let's magnify him. He's the king of kings, the lords of lords, the mighty man in battle, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let's bless his name. Lift up your voice and give God thanks. Lift up your voice and thank this God that has kept us till now. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's bless his name. Let's bless his name. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's bless the name of the Lord that has done what our fathers cannot do. Let's bless the name of the Lord that has done what our bosses cannot do. Let's bless the name of the Lord that has blessed us beyond description and he would even do more. Let's bless his name. Let's magnify him. Our Father, King of Glory, we thank you. We worship you. We pray that our sacrifice of praise and worship be accepted unto you. We give you thanks this morning. And we pray that thanks never leave our mouths. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Please, let's be seated. Good morning, church. I want to specially thank God and pastors, Pastor Shola and Pastor Momi um, Adewale and all the ministers of God for the opportunity to bring um, this short exhortation this morning. 
Um, we're rounding up um, the theme that we've been looking at for the um, trial of the month of November. And says just in time, God, we've been reading Psalm 46, verse 5. Um, before we get there, um, this month, we've had a couple of ministers speak um, to us, or well, minister to us on what God is saying this season. We've heard from Pastor Shalad just in time. We've heard God's appoint, um, the God of appointment, the God triangle, the present help at the break of dawn. And we know, or I believe that, at least I have been blessed by basically all these messages. And these messages have, funny enough, come just in time. This morning, um, I want us to go through Psalm 46 as a whole. So um, I assume that most of us have read it, but maybe when we read it again, we'll understand what God is saying and that it is not just about our time. And it seems like it's just one thing, but it's everything. Um, Psalm 46 from verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be moved and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with swelling, Selah, there is a river whose stream make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Homos High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Just at the break of dawn, the nations raged. The nations raged. Nigeria raged. The kingdoms moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord who has made dissolution in the earth. He makes wars. He makes Israeli wars. He makes Gaza wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bows and cuts the spears in two. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Through the months, we've heard miracles, wonders, stories of Daniel, the widows, um, Jesus, the... Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and the same God who filled jars with oil, the same God who raised the dead, the same God who saved the embarrassment at the wedding in Canaan, is still the God we should put our trust in to perfect our miracles even today. As much as the environment situations may make us feel like we are abandoned, we are alone, we are forgotten. It feels like things are moving forward for others and ours feels like it's slow. Just be sure that God has not abandoned you. God has not forgotten me. God is still in my case. And I would pray it to fruition. I would pray to deliverance. To everything, there's a time and a season. That's um, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. It says, to everything, there's a time and season, and a purpose under heaven. So, so there's an end to that situation, and God can make it happen now. As much as we would hear that um, God's time is the best, um, I would show us a few, uh, particularly two scriptures that we've looked at this month, that shows that you can pray God's time to be now. And so it means that, I, I can't remember who, whose message this was, that if you, don't, if you don't pray, then it could be December next year, and then somebody else gets a miracle now. But in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 8, 1 Kings 17, verse 8, I think sound right read um, some parts of it. He says, then the, Lord, then the word of the Lord came, saying, um, sorry, can we keep going? Yes. Arise, go to Zarephath, which, behold, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. At this point, it feels like she didn't have to go to him, right? 
the Lord thought of her and remembered her. And basically, you say, oh, that's her time. And then we'll see also 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1. 2 Kings 4, verse 1. A certain woman, sorry, uh, multimedia, can you help with that? A certain woman of the wives of the sons of prophet cried out, saying, Elijah, your servant, um, your servant, my husband is dead, and you know that your servant feared the Lord, and the creditor is coming to take the two sons to be his slave. In this scenario, the woman ran to the prophet. So in the first one, prophet sends God to her. The second one, she ran to the prophet. There are situations where we think we can be calm, and um, somebody going to eat bread and die has resolved to be calm. Somebody else drowning in a pool is stretching out their hands and help, shouting help. And we know that when we cry help to God, he would answer. So it means that we can pray God's time to be now. From these two scriptures, the first one was God's perfect timing at work, and the second... Um, was an appointed time which the person chose. I chose now. She could have chosen the previous day or the next day, and then the blessings would have been which other way. Through the month also, we've looked at two particular things, or more like I have taken note of two things that we need to do um, to bring our, to, to make God's time align with what we pray to be our time. And the first one is believe that God is. Believing that God is is speaking about faith. And faith for a Christian is like um, when, you, when you pick an exam paper and the first, and it has section A um, and section B, and section A says only one question is here and it must be done. For the other ones, attempt all questions, but this is a compulsory. Basically, it's like your script to be thrown out if there is no faith. So it's important that faith is a key factor in everything that we do. That faith is a key factor in everything we do. Let's look at Romans chapter 4, verse 3. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed in God, and it was counted to him for righteousness. Abraham believed in God, and it was counted to him for righteousness. By faith, God is asking that we do these things, that we replace proof with trust. As much as that is obviously difficult, um, it means that you're saying something else, and you just trust that the Lord is going to answer. You are drowning, and you trust that the Lord would not let you drown. You are thrown in the fire by um, the king, and you are trusting that you would not get burnt in the fire. That's basically what faith is about. Also, faith is about um, stopping to try to control and allow God to take control. And then also pray and acknowledge that in all things that you do. Acknowledge God in all things that you do. A particular person that showed faith that seemed like he shocked Jesus in the Bible, was in Matthew chapter 8 from verse 6. Matthew 8 from verse 6. So, um, saying, Lord, my servant is lying home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, and do this, and he does. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith in Israel. I'm not sure that you would do something that would make God marvel, and he would not stand up on your behalf. I pray that he would give us the strength to exercise the faith that makes him feel bound to, to activate his word even today in Jesus' name. The second point is obedience. And this part is funny because something happened to me some time earlier this year. 
Um, and this is when they say obedience is better than sacrifice. It just felt like, oh, it's something people say. But um, I received something that was not wrong. It wasn't wrong at all. It was valid that I should receive it. But um, I felt that I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. And I gave it as a sacrifice. And when I was dropping sacrifice, the Lord said, um, or more like I felt in my spirit, not the Lord said, or I don't know. But I felt in my spirit, Lord, see, that's not what you're supposed to do. Yes, you dropped it at the altar, but that's not what you were supposed to do. Unfortunately, it's not something I could have undone, but I mentally thought of it and just felt sacrifice is good, right? But obedience is what God is asking us for first. So in 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to 7, the prophet asked um, the widow who said her son was going to be sold um, into slavery. Um, he asked her to borrow vessels. And the Bible doesn't mention that, oh, I said I'm in debt. You want me to go and borrow more, Abby? She doesn't say anything like that. She just sent her son, go, go and borrow. Anybody that will give you, give you, you collect it. And the Lord saw her through. In John chapter 2, verse 5, it says, sorry, I think she helped me with that. Um, it says, whatever, you say, whatever he says you should do, do it. It was uh, Mary talking to the people who um, she had sent to meet Jesus that um, there was no more wine. And he said, whatever he says you should do, do it. So basically, don't ask any questions. He says you should pour water into pour water. He said, go back and draw the water and save people. Go back and draw the water. And the Lord, um, the, the way he speaks to us or the way he expects us to obey is to obey without a shaking heart with total trust in him. I pray this morning that we would heed unto the word of the Lord, that we would know that God is, that he will, be, will believe that God is and will obey his word. And by his power and his strength alone, he will bring forth our testimonies. Amen. That our testimonies will be just in time. Amen. As we round up, I want to give um, a few a personal testimony a few weeks ago, particularly on the 17th of November, um, I woke up um, after a very short sleep. Um, I had been worried about something at work for weeks, and or not one thing. It just kept becoming a new thing every night. But that night, I couldn't sleep, and I woke up, and I basically started screaming, please help me. I woke up at five and was too worried, and just help me, help me. And in anger, I, tried, I thought of decisions to make. By Monday, a colleague called me, a senior colleague called me and told me, oh, how are you doing? I was, I, and he chatted for a while and said, no, tell me how you're doing it really. And after a while, he said, no, 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 don't take that decision. Some things are going to change. And we, all, we both felt it was futuristic. Friday, Monday. By Tuesday, I got some other funny phone calls just asking, doing inquiries. And by the evening, or by the, there was a meeting and said there was a change. And the change was not futuristic. There was no future date. It was immediate effect. Now, I, I, I didn't think that that solution could, was an option. I didn't think it, it's, it's still a work in progress because there are a couple of other things. But it's only God that could have done that. That battle had been fought four months ago and it, it, they, were, they lost. And then when I shout, please help, God answers. Let's rise and pray. Please help. Please help to the God that answers. Let's say, Father, Father, help me to totally believe in you. Help me to totally believe in you. Help every iota of my own belief. Lord, help me to totally believe in you. Every unbelief in my heart, please clear them out. Every unbelief, every doubt, every place that I say it's, it's far gone, it's not possible. Lord, I pray for your help. Help me unbelief. Help my unbelief and help me know that you are God and can do and undo. You are the creator of the earth. You are the master. You changed princes. You, you, you remove rulers. 
there is no protocol that is too hard for you. Come and break protocol on my behalf today. Father, I pray for the strength to obey you totally. I pray for the strength to obey you totally. I pray for the strength to obey you totally. I pray, Lord, for the strength to obey you totally. I pray, Lord, for the strength to obey you totally. And even as we pray to obey, let's give God thanks and know that he has done it. If we have done our part, God will do his part. If we have done our part, then it's left to God. If we make him shake with the kind of faith we have, then there's no, there's no way it would not be done. Let's pray and say, Father, I believe that it is in your hands and it is solved. Our Father, King of glory, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We magnify your name. We know that our testimonies will come just in time. The year seems like it's going, coming to an end, but it's not too, it, is not, it is not too small a time for God to act in our lives. It's not too small a time for God to save us. It's not too small a time for, for God to break us forth out of that problem, out of the depression, out of the financial issue, out of the joblessness. It's not too short a time for God to change. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks because we know he has done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue to clap to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the only one that can do it. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly. Hallelujah. Is someone joyous this morning? Can we put our hands together? And shout with a shout of triumph. Yeah. Do you have the joy of the Lord in your heart? Yeah.
If you don't know, forget about it. I told them, follow you, they go. Follow you, they go. Just enough to you.
Keep praising you Yet know what sums you up And I ask the Lord What name fits you And he said yeah Generation after generation Keep praising you Yet know what sums you up And I ask the Lord Oh church lift your voice What name and what did he say Can we do it one more time Oh new strings Generations up to generation keep praising you. You know what sums you up. And I ask the Lord, one that fits you. Oh, come on with a roar.
if you believe truly that God is unlimited. So exalt him, exalt his holy name now. If you believe he's unlimited in your life, in your situation, in your career, in your home, in your marriage, in everything surrounding you, exalt his holy name now. Lift his name high. Praise him. Magnify his holy name. Father, you are God. You are unlimited. Unlimited in every way. Unlimited in every situation. Unlimited in every respect. Oh, yes, you are unlimited indeed. I exalt your holy name. I lift you high. I exalt you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I worship you. I magnify your holy name. I exalt you, Lord, above all situations, above all conditions, above all positions, above all treasures of this world, above all kingdoms. You are God. You are God over all situations. You are God. Be thou exalted. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. The just in time God. Be thou exalted. Above all kings. Above all positions. Above all treasures of this world. Be thou exalted, oh Lord. Oh, my camera, my son, to my shin, the merry my candy. Hey, my room, my son, to my shin, my candy, my room, my son, to my camera, my son, to my condo, my room, my son, to my shin. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy of our worship. You're worthy of our praise. You're worthy of our adoration, because you are God indeed. You are the Almighty. You are the Ancient of Days. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the El Shaddai. You are the Almighty God. The one with whom nothing is impossible. Thank you for the breath of life in us this morning. Thank you for strength in our bones, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you. We just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you. We just want to say Baba O Almighty God for the privilege to worship you because only the living can worship only the living can praise you thank you Lord for counting us amongst the living this afternoon strong enough to worship you and to praise you please accept our worship accept our praise accept our hearts of gratitude in the mighty name of Jesus. All the days of our lives, Lord, let your praise never cease from our mouths in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the devil not snatch your praise from us in the mighty name of Jesus. All the days of our lives, Lord, let songs of praise, songs of worship, songs of thanksgiving songs of testimonies continue to fill our mouths in the mighty name of Jesus thank you everlasting father receive our worship this afternoon receive our praise 
Thank you, everlasting King of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let us take our seats briefly before we rise and take a prayer point and close the service. As you might have observed, our pastors, Pastor, Pastor Zulu Shola and Omomomi Adewale are not in our midst today. As you may be aware, uh, Pastor Omomomi's um, brother has gone to be with the Lord and um, they have had to travel because this week is the celebration of life. So they are out of town at the moment. Uh, they send their greetings and they covet our prayers. Please let us remember them as we pray uh, during our individual prayer times that God be with them all through the journey and bring them back safely to us in Jesus' name. I want us to just look at um, our anchor scripture for this month briefly. Uh, praise the Lord. Psalm 46. I'm not here to do another sermon. Uh, so we just take that verse 5. Psalm 46 verse 5. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. Or you say at the break of dawn. I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know what is uppermost in your mind this moment. I don't know what it is that you know that you have come to a point where if God does not help you, then shame is locking around the corner. I need the help of God in a particular situation in my life now. And I know that man cannot help me. I need God. Praise the Lord. So, in a moment, I am going to be crying unto God to help me concerning that situation. I will rely on his word that says God is in the midst of her. God is in the midst of that situation concerning me. And therefore, I shall not be moved. God will help me. God will help me. God will help me. And that's right early. At the break of dawn. Just in time. I will ask you to please rise on your feet. And let us raise that prayer point together. Be specific. Let us not be generic in this prayer point. Be specific. That situation, that very thing for which you want God to be in the midst. You want the immediate intervention of God. The Bible says in the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. He says, with God, nothing is impossible. Nothing. Today is the 26th day of November. Four days to go. Four days to go. But those four days are more than enough for God to intervene in a situation. To turn a life around for the best forever. Or 
Is this something that must happen before this year runs out? We have 35 days remaining after today. 35 days. Far more than enough for God. Bring God into that situation now, brethren. What is it that God must intervene? Bring it to him. Hand it over to him. He's able. Infinitely able. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, too big for him. God is in the midst of that situation. I will not be moved. Pray in faith, brethren. Don't just pray. Pray believing the one to whom you are praying that he is able, he is faithful. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Because we believe it is done. Because we know that with you nothing is impossible. That the God of infinite possibilities, you are limitless. There's nothing you can't do. You are sovereign. You do as you please. Whatever you want to do, even before this day runs out, you can. Lord God, your children. I've cried unto you concerning those specific areas of their lives where they need your intervention now. Father, please arise on our behalf. Arise on behalf of every one of us concerning each, each of those specific areas in the mighty name of Jesus. Prove yourself God in our situation. Prove that you are in the midst of that situation as concerning us in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the situation is, whatever the case, Father, use it to advertise your power, to advertise your might, and your power to change a life and to turn a situation around in the mighty name of Jesus. Use it to the glory of your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. As we go today, Lord, please go with us. Let this week for each one of us be glorious. Let it be blessed. Every day of this week, let it bring good tidings to us. Strengthen us afresh. Renew your strength unto us, Lord. Let the wisdom of heaven guide us in all we do. Let us please you in all our undertakings. And let your name and your name alone be glorified in all situations concerning us. When we meet again, Lord, let testimonies fill our mouths. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let the one that believes that it is done, that God truly is in, is in the midst of her, let that person's shout of hallelujah be the loudest. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! God bless you. Have a wonderful week.